That's the gimmick. It is about 3.15, December 27th. It's a uh, end of the year kind of vlog, vlog thing. I was going to make the video yesterday, but I was just out of it, so I didn't, basically. Um, so yeah, Merry Christmas, all that kind of crap. Yada yada, Happy New Year's, blah blah blah. Um, so I've had a few requests to do this, so I'll try to get right into it, and plus I don't really have a journal anymore, so. Um, health stuff first. Um, I never took the organ transplant medicine this year either for the diffuse systematic scleroderma or whatever. Um, I know U of M is constantly like, I think I've tested positive for like four times now or something. They just keep making me do it over and over again. Like, I guess they just don't want to. Anytime I test positive for something, they're just like, how are you this sick? They're like, you have these tests that randomly say you're dying, blah, blah, blah. So. It's just ridiculous that they make me test positive for the same crap over and over again. Um, I never went. Uh, Cleveland Clinic has been sending me stuff to go back uh, back there, um, which I have not, because I think, like I said, my life, my Cleveland Clinic experience was not very good. Um, so I don't really have any urge to go back there. Um, blood pressure is still random. A few years later, even ever since I had that flu shot, um, this is already getting really uninteresting. Now. Uh, as for the tumor, the tumor's still there. The tumor has grown, I think they said, half a centimeter. And of course, I really have no interest in removing it since it's a bad place and no surgeon basically wants to remove it either unless it looks like it's about to kill me. So I've not had that tumor removed. Um, um, and I guess uh, I'll, get, I'll get right into it because, you know, I got another message about this. And this is, like, the number one thing that gets messaged to me, at least about health-wise. Like, video game-wise, it's always, like, how do you knock down after Shinko Adoken? I think that's the number one fucking question I get. And health-wise, it's always, how are your nuts doing? <laughs> that is, like, the number fucking one question I get uh, for that epididymitis. So I got a message from a dude named Old School, which I should say. Old School something. I don't know if I should say his whole name. But, um... I should say, I do, because he thought, like, maybe I wouldn't respond to him. And I should say, like I said, I do respond to every single message that I get, all those hundreds of messages, I do respond to them. Like, if I have not responded to your message, I probably hit reply, and I didn't hit reply, or I thought I hit reply, and I didn't, because I do try to read every single message that everybody sends me, and I do try to respond. So, for that chronic epididymitis, um... I still do get it, like I think I said, but it is not as bad. Um, like I said, just over the years, it has just gotten kind of better. Either it's gotten kind of better, or I don't feel it as much. You know what I mean? Um, I know I've definitely had it a few times this year, more than a few, I should say. But like I said, it's not as it's just constantly gone down little by little. Um, it still hurts, and when it happens, of course, it kind of like fucking knocks you out because it's your nuts and it hurts. <laughs> so. You know, um, I guess other pain around that area that he's asking, um, you know, like I said, I get the pain, like, in my penis, um, kind of like the shaft, like, right where it starts, I guess, sometimes. Um, it kind of reminds me of, um, the only thing I can think of how to compare that kind of pain to is when you, um, which is for most people 20 years old have not had to do this, but, um, you get a bunch of shit, like, squirted inside of you. virus database has been updated. Okay, <laughs> you get like a bunch of shit like squirted in you, like but through your penis kind of, and then like check inside of you, and that shit hurts, and it kind of like feels like you're like constipated to your dick or something. Like it doesn't feel good. Like it just is. It's painful. Like that's kind of like, kind of what it feels like sometimes. Um, but like I said, that's pretty rare. Like I said, that doesn't happen too much. Um, what I do get. And I should say for the tumor pain, um, yeah, that's still there. Again, not as bad. And as long as I don't mess with that area too much, um, I don't get it. Um, still painful. Like I said, it, it can be pretty painful just to walk sometimes, depending on how bad it is. But um, just try not to mess with it. The only thing that I do get still quite a bit, quite a bit. And, of course, who knows if this is from, like, the epididymitis or maybe it's a tumor or maybe it's just, you know, my body's fucked up. Um I get like, you know, sick to my penis. Like, you know, people get like sick to their stomach. Um, I get like literally like sick to my dick. Like a lot of times I just feel sick and like weak in that area. Like, I don't know, like weak to your stomach. Like, I don't know how to explain it because 
when I was healthy, obviously, I never got it, and I'm sure most people don't get it, <laughs> but, um, especially my age, um, it just feels like I feel, like, sick to my dick. I don't know what else to explain. Like, that still happens pretty regularly. So that is, like, not a good feeling, like, you know, I might get sick to your stomach while I get sick down there. Like, I just don't feel good. It, like, feels weird. Like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it, but that still is going on years and years later. Or how many years would it be, like? Right up in the end of 2010, all that stuff happened. So quite a while. But like I said, just the nut pain, that doesn't happen too much anymore. So there's the answer for that guy, and I know lots of people message me about that. And like I said, I try to respond to you guys. So it's still, that's better, not much else. Um, I guess speaking of like penis sort of wise, I guess the low testosterone thing is still a problem. Um, like I said, um, they gave me the Arimidex and the Clomid, and I tried taking that a few times this year, but man, dude, that is very hard to, like, dose, you know, because I really don't want to take this testosterone shots, um, and, uh, I don't want to take the gel because then I can't touch anybody for a while, so, you know, I was just trying to take the Clomid, um, try to take that, like, I never got on a regimen of it, of course, though, um, and the Arimidex and, um, you know, but... I've taken that before, and I felt like almost instantly like more boners at night, I guess. You know what I mean? But um, that was very rare. Like most of the time I've taken it, like I said before, I've actually felt like worse. So I have not had much luck with that. Um, and I still feel like shit. Like, I mean, like sex drive-wise, like um, nothing like when I was younger. Um, which, of course, that's not to say I was a fucking total hornball by any means, even when I was younger, right? But... You know, just like that urge of like, you know, you see something like, God, I want to fuck that girl, you know what I mean? Or like, oh, like, dude, like, I want to fucking make you come so bad. Like, you know what I mean? Like, those kind of like urges, like, those are still like, you know, that's still like, I'm basically like bipolar, like sexually. I mean, like, half the time I just don't even give a fuck, you know? Which, of course, you know, you could contribute to just, I've always been pretty popular with girls, I guess. But, um, so I'm kind of ambivalent. I mean, if that makes sense, but, um, but really just, it takes a lot to get me worked up. Like, I gotta be in a good mood, and that, of course, being sick sucks too, but, um, you know, I don't have a lot of that kind of, like, prime animal kind of urge, which isn't to say that's a bad thing, because who doesn't want to fuck and have fun, right? I mean, that's a good thing, but, um, like, that doesn't happen for me too much, so that's definitely one of the things, because... And even like, you know, I so said they give me the, they actually give me the Viagra for the Skeleturma, because, you know, and I still take that. I don't, I normally don't take three a day like I'm supposed to, um, which I guess if people are wondering, yeah, my feet have healed since taking that. They're, they're not like perfect, but, you know, they're not like bleeding, like my feet got really swollen. So, and even then, you know, you take Viagra, I mean, you still got to be horny, because half the time, you know, I just don't give a fuck, honestly, but and that's not to say I don't have hot friends or anything, but I mean, like spontaneous erections, I guess. I'm trying to, you know, it sounds like I'm like talking about it medically when it should be like such like just a natural course of events, but I mean, whatever, I'm sick, you know, I don't expect to live a super long life, so what are you going to do, right? I mean, that's my body fucking up. But yeah, so the testosterone, um, from taking all those herbs, I've tried taking the Clomid and the Arimidex, I have had like a bit higher testosterone levels, but that's total testosterone, like my, um... My free testosterone has always been in the sugar. I've never been able to raise that at all, which could be one of the problems because I don't have free testosterone to actually do shit, right? And the estrogen has still been high, so that's a problem, right? Um, and I actually read that night sweats can be a symptom of, like, fucked up hormones, so... And I, I've gotten night sweats a lot, so... Just years, and I've just never thought about it. I just thought I'm sick, you know, whatever. Um, so I, did, I didn't know that could be a symptom, but, uh, yeah, so... Uh, Mm, blood pressure's still been fucked up ever since that flu shot years ago. I mean, I still don't like to take um, high blood pressure medicine for some reason. Um, I had a really fucked up... I think my blood pressure last time I took it at the doctor's, I was 130 over 50. Like, that's pretty fucking random, man. Should have never got that flu shot, but whatever. Fuck my doctor, right? Um, Crohn's disease stuff. Um, I think around this time last year, I was not as bad. But I've definitely had more, 
I've been more a lot more morning sickness lately. I'm definitely more morning sickness again, quite a bit. Um, uh, what other health stuff can I talk about? Um, thyroid, I only had like one normal thyroid test this whole year for me, basically, which now uh, fucking sucks. Um, I guess I should also say about the low testosterone. I have been thinking, I might just say fuck it and do those shots. I gotta make an appointment because I just feel like shit. I need some more energy and I still have trouble reading, which sucks because I'm not Japanese. has just gone down the shitter. Like, that's one of my New Year's goals. Definitely, I don't even really like draw much anymore, honestly, so. Excuse me. Don't really draw. I just my concentration just sucks. Um, I know U of M is gonna make me uh some kind of like concentration test, but it takes me six months to get in. Like seriously, you know they make you do the stupidest fucking test. Like they, I don't know how many times I have to test positive or something. Like I said, um, uh, test positive for something. Um, it's just stupid. Um, anyway, so. Uh, Workout wise, um, I definitely have achieved quite a lot, which I guess I'll put a link to my Facebook and um I think you can see my progress from when I was dying in the hospital to um not quite dying in the hospital, but you know, it took me a long time to recover. It took me about um six months. I was still collapsing after I got out of the hospital and uh I think the pictures from around two thousand nine when I started trying to work out again and then of course two thousand and ten is really when I tried to make it a more of a hobby, my main hobby, staying as healthy as I can while I still can. Um, so you can see I've, I've made a lot of progress. Um, I think I'm pretty much at my peak because I know a few months ago I looked buffer than I do now, I think. Or more ripped at least because I think ab-wise I definitely felt pretty good because I was pretty ripped. Considering the circumstances, how fucked up I am and sick I am. And so I was pretty happy with that. Um, but of course, uh, I've slacked, not due to lack of effort, just being sick. So I don't really expect to make too many gains, at least with what I'm doing right now. Um, so maybe if I take that testosterone, I'll make some more gains. But I mean, I don't really know how much more I can force myself to do stuff because I think I'm pretty much maxed out what this disabled, crippled body can do, I feel like. So. Don't expect to make too much more than I did this year. Because even when I did this year, like I said, it's hard to keep up. Um, but yeah, resolutions. Um, uh, draw more. More energy. Happiness. <laughs> happiness. Um, uh, no more doctors. That's not too good. Um, fuck. Well, you know. Don't quit yoga, I guess. Yoga did not go good. I did plan on doing yoga. I never learned how to dance, too, this year. Which I've been meaning to do a couple years in a row. That didn't work on. I don't know where I'll be next year. I might actually move. I don't know where life is taking me. I think I just got some bullshit in the mail. They're going to be charging me a hundred more dollars for my insurance, even though I'm on disability. I mean, I don't know what the fuck that is about. I just got that letter in the mail today. I know they've been fucking up my shit lately a lot. Um, I have been getting some modeling jobs lately, um, which I did not take because they're a little bit gayer than I anticipated. <laughs> so maybe I'll try to get back into that. I mean, I don't know. Um, definitely could use some extra money, though. Win the lottery. Something like that. Video game-wise, um, I haven't played too much. Um, like I said, I do plan on making videos when they come, but... Uh, um, I know those, I think I bought, at the, either is the beginning of this year or the end of last year, I think most of the control, those other two controls I brought, those are pretty much almost garbage, complete garbage now. I know I had made a video, I made, um, I got a Sega Saturn RafNet converter, which actually works really good, but whenever I've played games, I've kind of told myself not to use it, just because with my look, I'm afraid it's going to break. So, but it's going to be hard not to, because any control I have now is basically busted, and I know another friend tried to buy some of those Sega Saturn controllers on the internet, and even he said they broke almost immediately. So I'm pretty sure everything you buy now is almost completely fucking garbage, or like some secondhand shit, because he even paid for some like $100 crap, like the PS2 ones, they're really rare, and he got a fucking junker too, so. 
Oh well, so game one is um yeah, when new games come out, I'll try to make videos as usual. Um, I guess for stuff not health wise, I'm social wise. Uh, I think I've put myself out there quite a bit again this year. Um, last year, of course, I put myself out there for all that crap, and so many things went bad. And I still I get shit about that. Still, still get shit about that. And even though I didn't do anything, which is, which brings me to that, I've still not gotten an apology, even though I was the only one not doing anything. And I was actually defending people, and everything got blamed on me. And I don't, oh my god, dude. Uh, I feel like that's really something I should write about in my journal, because who wants to hear about that? But man, I got blamed for so much crap I didn't do. And I don't talk to Matt anymore, because like I said, he thought I had sex with his girlfriend. I'm like, seriously, I'm like, when I actually got them back together, and he made up all those lies about me, and... He's a fucking nutcase, but whatever. Um, so no apology from him, obviously. And I never got an apology for all that other crap that happened with that one girl and her fucking nasty trailer trash fucking friends. You know, they made up all that bullshit about me, and you know, I got so many fucking ridiculous excuses. Like, yeah, we let you take the blame for shit because we didn't want to be, we didn't want her to be mad at me. And it's like, well, pfft. or I'm not gonna be your friend unless you have sex with me. That kind of crap. It's like seriously. Seriously. And then of course I haven't got some of them got mad like they fucking uh they got mad like um you should feel bad because you don't want to be our friends anymore or something like that. Like seriously, like no, it's okay. Now this one guy always brings it up to me because he's still friends with them and it's like, dude, please stop talking to me about them, please. <laughs> I don't think he's all there though, so I'm like, dude, like I've actually thought I actually thought about for this Christmas, which would be pretty bad, but I thought about um actually just sending her an email because I still know her email. I thought about sending her all her fucking friends talking shit about her behind her back. All those messages I have, which I don't have everything since I don't have my same one's phone anymore, but I guess that'd be pretty mean, but just kind of be like, hey, I wanna show you what all your fucking friends used to say about you behind your back, dude. Like I think this is going out. I do need a new camp computer. That is probably something I need next year. Um, other social wise and girl wise, you know what I mean. I talked about it with a friend. Like, I'm pretty ambivalent. Like I said, the low testosterone doesn't help. But you know, of course, there's that terrible situation stuff last year, and it's just like, um, I don't know. Just like I have not had many positive experiences like with girls, especially lately. Like I just uh, I was in. Flew out to San Diego and um, I basically spent like 500 bucks to have a fucking dog jump on my tumor. So that situation was pretty bad. Um, I just don't really fucking care. Um, you know, everyone, I can't deal with like negative vibes all the time. And I feel like every girl I meet is very negative, which sounds really bad. And um, of course, I just feel I'm very predisposed to not giving a fuck about women, I guess, which is not a good attitude probably to have right mm -hmm. obviously of course that probably stems from you know, my mom's a fucking nutcase so I already have like the worst right from the get go right when I was born you know what I mean so you know and every fucking situation happens of course not everything can be helped because sometimes you know people think I'm cool and of course there's lots of guys that made up crap about me that I didn't do you know what I mean to make me seem cool to people or I could so many fucking ridiculous stories. And that's not to say that girls haven't done actually a lot of cool and flattering stuff for me, you know, because they have. I've had girls do fucking ridiculous shit for me, right? And, of course, it's always kind of funny because, thankfully, I don't take myself very seriously. So anytime, 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 I stutter. Anytime, anytime someone does something, like, ridiculous for me, you know what I mean? Or anytime, like, I'm, I don't know. A lot of times people tell me about something a girl did for me that I don't fucking remember when I was younger, right? Or even maybe they just did it, right? I don't remember. Like, oh, this girl's just talking about you did something, someone, something you were, like, really cool, and she liked it. Like, I don't even fucking know because I don't take myself seriously. So anytime, any, anytime, anytime, that might be my new gimmick. Anytime, anytime um, someone, like, says I did something ridiculous, since I don't take myself seriously, I still legitimately take it as a compliment, I guess, which is nice because... I just don't actually think I'm that cool, so anything that happens is, like I said, I've had a lot of 
which what should be positive experiences from it. But even with all of those, just so many negative things, and it's just like I don't care. And that kind of like fucking car, like carnal, carnal urge is that carnal urge? Just the fuck, you know what I mean? I don't get that very often, so it's kind of a downer, right? So it's just kind of like. Like, in a way, I'd say I'm kind of like a woman, almost, in a way. It sounds terrible, right? Like, I need, like, emotion. Like, I need to, like, feel cool with you. Because if I'm not cool with you, I'm definitely probably not going to want to be with you. Basically. <laughs> that sounds, like, terrible. But, you know what I mean? I need to feel, like, comfortable. Because, like, dude, like, if you throw a negative fucking experience on me, like, it's like, dude, I probably don't fucking care. Like, because I'm just going to associate you with something negative. Because, you know what I mean? I don't know, which sucks because um, I wish I was just more manly alpha male. I do. So maybe if I do, like I'm sure the low testosterone doesn't help because I mean, I don't know. I mean, I have a lot of good looking girlfriends, kind of things, you know what I mean? I'd probably, I'd probably hit on them more or something if I actually. But like I said, I get that, I get that kind of fucking girlness to me. I'm sure it's like my estrogen is too high, right? <laughs> so, um,. Yeah, I don't know. So a lot of bad experiences. You know, like I said, all those people made all that shit about me, and I'm still not cool with it. I, like, I'll never be cool with that. Just ugh, those negative experiences stay with me. And I, I know I will probably look kind of pretty scruffy whenever today. Um, I probably do need a haircut. I was going to try to let my hair grow for the year, but um, not the year. Not the year. Um, the, now that tooth is fucked up. Not the year, um, I do need to go to the dentist. I've been putting that off. Uh, I was, I've been thinking about letting my hair grow for the winter, but... I don't know, I think I need to cut this. The only problem is, ever since I was cutting my hair shorter for a while... I don't know, I don't know if that worked either. Anyway, um, yeah, I feel like I should really get a journal to write in, but then just my hands hurt, so. Um, man, yeah, so social-wise, you know, ugh, I just, I don't have many positive experiences. So social-wise, I put myself out there a lot, but, mm, you know what I mean? Not a lot came of it. I don't know. At least for me, at least. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's gonna go on next year. Kind of a half-assed blog, but you know I got asked to make it a few times, so I did. Anyway, um, hopefully more game stuff and blog stuff, and I do plan on making. I plan on making a. Uh, I do plan on making another appointment, and maybe just doing a trial run of the testosterone shots, and seeing how that goes because I do feel like shit. So I'm sure I'll update and I'll let you guys see me injecting myself or something you know what I mean so uh, December 27 2013 the end